Hello everyone, I'm Human Hard Drive, and today on Electronics 201, we're going to be answering a viewer submitted question. And today's question comes from Mr. Adibu Wahab Ramadan, and he asks, Can you talk about the difference between a clock and an oscillator? Sure, I can. So, clocks and oscillators are two terms that are occasionally used interchangeably when they really shouldn't be, and it's an important thing to know the difference. Let's start by examining what is an oscillator. An oscillator is any electrical component or components which in some way oscillate. It's quite descript. And by oscillate I mean change state in some way, be that logically or analog, meaning in a sinusoidal way, well, for those mathy out there, discrete and continuous. Now, one of the most common types of oscillators is your crystal oscillator, which has a symbol that looks something like this. Now, a crystal oscillator, yeah, there it is, there's a nice picture, is made of a crystal, which is a special type of crystal being piezoelectric. That means when you apply an electric current to it, it deforms, it changes shape, which causes it to oscillate, and when it changes back, it emits an, an electric current. So you apply electric current, it oscillates, emits a signal, and it's that signal that oscillates because it's changing shape. That's the one. Okay. Now, oscillators have a frequency be that hertz, kil kilohertz, or megahertz. There's another kind of oscillator called an LC oscillator. And we'll talk a little bit more about this you know, when we talk about inductors. This is an inductor capacitor oscillator, so it's anything that looks like the, or has these two components in conjunction. This one's frequency isn't determined by its material, as the values of these two components when put in series, and it's determined by this equation. FR is 1 over the square root of LC. And I've got one here. So I've got a 1 Henry inductor and a 10 microfarad capacitor, and the voltage in the capacitor is oscillating up and down at a frequency of, I think it's 50 hertz, yeah, around 50 hertz. And it's determined by these two values. Now, when current is applied to it, it oscillates. Now, it's the current and voltage that are oscillating. The battery is putting out a DC signal, but it's getting a reverse current flow. So, I might be digressing a bit here, but in order to remedy this situation, it's a quick fix to do this. Now, with only a DC signal, you don't get an AC current across the battery. You still get an AC current in the capacitor, but it's not flowing back and forth across the battery, damaging it. That's bad. That's, okay, so that's what an oscillator is. It's any device that changes state. There's one other kind of oscillator I've got here. This is called a VCO, a voltage-controlled oscillator, which uses a capacitor and a couple of resistors to determine some rate of oscillation, which, if I were to examine this here, looks like that. That's quite the oscillation. Okay, so that's what an oscillator is. Let's talk about a clock. An oscillator is just a component. A clock is something a little more nebulous. It's it's more abstract. It's not a component per se, it's a system. A clock has its place in processors, um, certain ICs, and communications. Uh, when I say communications, I mean like uh, SPI and I2C, things like that. What a clock's job is, is to regulate something in some way. 
Now for communications, it's going to regulate the speed of communication for SPI and I2C, and it also makes sure that everyone's talking at the same time. In ICs, such as um, DACs and ADCs, that's digital, digital to analog converters and analog to digital converters, it's making sure that the data is uh, converted at proper intervals and that data can be sent out through a communication at proper intervals. And in a processor, it's responsible for maintaining order within the architecture. I don't know how much you may know about processor architecture, but every instruction has to has a number of set of has a number of smaller instructions that happen within the processor go away has a number of smaller instructions that happen within the process in within the processor called machine not machine cycles t cycles and the clock is responsible for making sure that those t cycles go off in order without colliding into each other otherwise the processor would just cease to work altogether now, the confusion arises from this. A crystal can be used to generate a clock signal, as I shall now demonstrate using an LC oscillator. What I've got here is an op amp being used as a comparator, and it's comparing... I sh didn't, did I edit this? Eh, you know, it really doesn't matter. Okay. View this in scope. Remove these two. Oh, I'll leave that one. Okay. So, this capacitor is still generating this AC signal, but thanks to this extra component here called an op amp, I'm using it as, like I said, I'm using it as a comparator. It's comparing the voltage in the capacitor as opposed to the voltage output by the battery. So all it's doing now is it's taking this AC signal and turning it into a logical signal. It's turning it on and off, on and off, on and off, which is more palatable to the digital electronics within a processor. Things can only be on or off. And even this VCO here, it outputs a clock signal. If I were to view this in the scope, that's what that looks like. So, therein lies the difference between a cr a, an oscillator and a clock. An oscillator is a component. A clock is more of a system. It's a system that regulates and maintains cycles, and it makes sure everything stays in order and in check. Now, while an oscillator can be used to generate a clock signal, it can be used for other things. It can be used to generate reference uh, reference frequencies for radios. Um, I know it can be used. Well, really, those are the only two things I know oscillators use for tuning radios and main, main, uh, matching clock signals. They're also used in um, PLLs, phase lock loops, to maintain other clock signals. So, I hope that answers your question, Mr. Adebo Wahab Ramadan, and if it doesn't, well, I'm sure you'll let me know, and I'm sure this has helped everyone else out there understand the difference between oscillators and clocks. So, this has been Human Hard Drive. Thanks for watching.